three, two, one, and we're in. Yes, guys, welcome. This is episode number three. I'm with Noah Jones, aka it's the Arc V, right? 100%. Yeah. Okay, make sure I had that right. All right. So he's a friend from school. He's a junior. I'm a senior. And you know, lucky you get all your. You're gonna have all your senior fun next year. <laughs> I missed out on all that this year. Yeah, thanks Corona. And he he's been doing. How long have you been doing TikTok for? A year. It's almost a year. Okay. I started wow. last April, late April. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. You you grew to you're about four hundred fifty thousand now, right? Yeah. That's crazy. That you're another like there's a couple TikTokers that got me into wanting to do this and like you because like I was doing them and I was like well like Noah has a lot so I kind of want to like surpass you and it was just a little mm-hmm. like challenge in my high, mind it wasn't like anything like yeah. serious. It was just like a goal and I remember like I hit like this 100,000 and then like, you went from, like 300,000 to 400,000 really quick I was like damn that's tough <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of crazy we've gone to school together for the last three years I've never talked I don't think I've talked to you once so yeah, it's crazy this is our first time talking which is insane uh, I remember watching one of your TikToks. Someone duetted yours, like someone like really popular, right? I'm pretty. Sure. Who was that? Um, what was it like? What type of video was it? I can't remember. You said you like you were like really excited about it. Someone duetted it. I saw. I remember oh, I remember. My back um, and I couldn't find it now. Alicia Key, she reposted my TikTok. That's what it was. That was so cool. Yeah. I, I was like really jealous I, when I, I saw that. I couldn't believe that it was like, crazy. That was insane to me. So, like, what made you want to get into TikTok? So, I started last April. It was just, like, a joke. Like, I just used it. I was like, hmm, let me, like, post on here to be funny. Then I, I made, like, three videos. And then I made, like, my fourth video. It was, like, things you never see. I made, like, a little more serious video. Then, like, it blew up. It went, like, crazy. Like, in 1.5 million likes. And I was just like, oh, wow. Like, this is actually going somewhere. So, I just, like, I kept making videos from there on. And then, like that's where I am like right now like yeah that's that's like basically exactly what happened happened with me I was posting more like fitness stuff to be kind of I was being serious with the fitness stuff and I posted my jokes and it blew up and I was like oh it's kind of cool but yeah I looked I was going mm-hmm. through it earlier I think that video is almost at like 11 million now which is insane that's a like mm-hmm. insane amount of people yeah, yeah. Like, um so you do high school sports because you go to so in our area there's Vineland Bridgeton Mobile you live in Vineland right yeah. So you do swim? Yeah, I swim. How I've always heard people talk about sw- swim like how how hard is that? Oh, it's it's something else cuz I used to play football but then I went into swimming and then it was just like a whole other ball game. It's just it's just working out constantly and swimming is just it works out a ton of muscles and everything. Yeah, like I've seen uh my friends, she goes to Cumberland. Uh, Melissa something I remember her last name I, you might have heard of her from competitions but she's jacked especially for a girl like, mm-hmm. it's like she is insanely built and she's insanely fast she's like I don't know if she won states or like got the states in place somewhere in there like she's insanely good with it and like the people that do all that stuff is insane so I have another question I was going through uh, famous birthdays and I, I remember you posting about it so I knew you're on there and it said you played football too yeah I didn't know that I well, thought you only swim for the, it's weird on there because this is I played it for high school. I never did. I stopped in eighth grade. Okay, wait. How long did you play football for? I started in kindergarten and I ended in eighth. Grade. I think it was like eight years. Oh wow! Why'd you like? Why'd you stop? Because I had to choose between swimming and football, and like my passion then was more towards swim. Like it was trying to like my love for football was trying to going away towards them, and I was just like I couldn't do both because it's like it. It's two different types of like body types. Like football, you gotta be like big and husky, yeah. and like swim, you gotta be more slim. So I makes swim. sense. Yeah, swim, swim's insane. I've always wanted to do swim, but I've never like my dad used to swim in high school a lot. He held the breaststroke breaststroke record for like like my dad's almost fifty, so he graduated in like eighty eight or something like that. And he held the breaststroke record until like seven years ago, which is insane. Like he oh, was wow. insanely good at swimming. And he used it as an off time sport. So he played baseball and he swam to just stay in shape for baseball. Yeah, that's what I did with like football. I would swim in the off season because it would keep me in shape. Yeah, like it um yeah, it's crazy how like I don't know. I, <laughs> swimming's just insane. I just watch people do it and it's, it takes a lot. I like because I'll, I'll swim just for exercise and it, it kills mm-hmm. me. And like it's I couldn't really good ma- exercise. And I couldn't imagine practices because I am s- assuming they kill you 
in this type of practice. Yeah. <laughs> What's some of your uh, biggest accompl- biggest accomplishments with swimming? Probably hmm, this well this year I was like working like really hard this past year trying to make it to this meet this USA meet in Pennsylvania, and this year I finally made it and I went there and it was like really good. I mean I didn't like get like place or anything but i was just happy to finally go there because last year i worked hard but i just missed it and i was just, like finally happy i was able to go there and just improve my times and all that that, that that's cool that's good that, like um do you have any like future goals you want to go for too like well next year i want to go to state definitely say for uh, high school one. Um, so I want to like, talk about TikTok a lot. Cause I was asking people about questions to ask you. Cause like I said, I've never really talked to you. So I don't really know much about you. Mm-hmm. So they were really interested on TikTok side of stuff. So where did like, and your name is the arc V on everything like Instagram too, right? Yeah. So where'd that name come from? So first I think I made it back in like middle school because of like Noah's Ark. Oh, like, okay. Hmm. I was like, Probably like put that in there, and then it was the arc was already taken, so I was like, what else should I put in there? So I was just like, I was like, my favorite number is five, but I don't want to just put like five, so I put like the Roman numeral for it after. <laughs> that's that's funny. It's just I, I love talking about how they like get their names or stuff because like I've watched YouTubers and how they get their names, and it's just funny. Like, have you ever yeah. seen how Post Malone got his name? No, how did he get his name? He put his name into a like not his name. He just uh clicked like a rapper generator name and just randomly really? clicked it and got post Malone <laughs> and he's kept it. And that's amazing. But that's just really funny. So with like social media and stuff, do you like, are you trying to lean towards making that a career at all? Mm, I'm not really sure. It's just like, depends on how it goes. Like I would love to like go towards YouTube one day and like make content on there. Like that would be like the next thing I want to do. But like, I'm not really sure if I want to like make it like, my like my whole career when I'm older but it's just definitely like a cool thing to do right now I was like in like high school and like going to college and stuff yeah that's kind of like where I'm at with it now which um I'm trying to transfer to YouTube because I really want to get off TikTok and I don't like, like TikTok as much anymore they take yeah. so like I don't know if they do that too they take so many sounds off my videos or like delete mm-hmm. videos all the time yeah like obviously my stuff's a little worse than what most people post but it's it's still not as bad as a lot of things you see on there don't get taken down. So mm-hmm. I want to get to YouTube a lot. YouTube's definitely a big goal for me to get onto. And that's why I'm transferring now. I just hit 5k today, actually. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, I was going to ask them, I don't remember. So what are like, a lot of people ask, ask me, like, what are some of the negative side effects of being pretty popular on so social like- media? The side effects, I would think, like, you're always, like, whenever you post, like, you always think, like, oh, I hope it goes big, I hope it goes big, and, like, sometimes it doesn't, and then, like, you're, like, oh, man, and, like, it's, like, sometimes it's the videos that you actually, like, work really hard on. Yeah. Yeah, this, like, oh. this one's blow. <laughs> yeah. I had... But then I always, like, oh, no, you can go. No, 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 you're good. If I cut you off, you <laughs> just keep talking, all right? And then, like, I'll just keep, keep telling myself, I'm, like, oh, it doesn't really matter, you know, post again, you know, don't worry, worry about it. I don't let, like let it try to get to me and stuff. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it because I know I've recently my views have like plummeted. Like it's for like some people, yeah, it's, it's a lot, and like a hundred to two hundred thousand is a lot of views. But what they were compared to yeah. now is a lot worse, and it's it's just like frustrating because you're trying to fix it, and I don't know what to do to it anymore. But yeah, I don't know. I guess you don't like just don't worry about it. It's the best thing to do. Yeah, that's something like I'm I'm going through right now because like TikTok's algorithm it like keeps changing and it's just so confusing. You don't even know how it works, and it's like they don't sometimes they don't show your videos to your followers, and it's just like oh. Yeah, I don't understand that, and I've tried figuring it out for months, and everyone I've talked to about like with TikTok, they're like, Mm. I don't understand it at all. So I really feel like they don't have any sort of algorithm. It's just super randomized, and it's so messed up that way, and. I guess it's good because it gives anyone a chance to blow up, but then it's like these really popular creators. Unless like, you know, you're like Troy D'Amelio or something like with 50 million plus followers. Yeah, obviously yeah. you're going to get the millions of views. But even with her videos, a lot of them sit around one to two million, which is a lot. But, you know, having 50 million followers, you think it would be a little higher. So that still shows on her profile, like how messed up the algorithm even is for yeah. her. 
So it's just kind of crazy. Like, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever seen one of her videos come on my for you page and being that me, popular. Me neither. Yeah, like you think Never. being it's that popular, you would be. Yeah. yeah. I don't even think I follow her, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I really follow anyone super popular. I don't know why. I just follow people I find it's funny. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's crazy how the ag- algorithm works. But, like, YouTube and stuff, if, like, you really understand how that works, you could post a pretty viral video or at least yeah, definitely kind of popular in at least a, in a short amount of time. So I just wish TikTok would do something better with that. That's another reason I want to yeah. get away from it. And my Instagram is been doing pretty good because of like other people posting it. And I can't yeah, like really good before that I couldn't get followers. And like I was growing slowly from TikTok, but I mean, I grew maybe 2000 in like two months from TikTok, but my TikTok was about over a million at that point. So yeah, I just, I don't, I couldn't, I can't figure out Instagram stuff either. Cause I've heard of people going viral on Instagram, but I don't understand how that works. Cause I've, not been able to do i just have some big accounts post me i i've never seen some of your videos on like bigger accounts do you remember any accounts that i've posted you um yeah definitely like i used to they used to post me a lot back in like the summer and then it would just suck when they'll post you and like they wouldn't give you credit that would be like the worst thing yo and <laughs> i try to dm them and stuff they'll never answer some do but like it just it's like come on like you could at least give me some credit I had this one meme account post me and they're like, I think a million plus. And I was like, I damn it. was like, Hey, do you think I just get credit on that video? And he goes, what video? I was like the dirty humor part 27. And he goes, when I was like, Oh yeah, yeah. He posted like yesterday. And he goes, nah, when did I ask and blocked me? And I was like, what? damn. And I like, I always like, I was pretty annoyed at that point, but I was like, I'm not going to get mad and like fight with the dude. I was just gonna be like, mm-hmm. LMAO, that was actually pretty funny. But like, but seriously, can I get some credit on that? And uh, yeah, I was blocked. So I was like, damn, wow. I'm like, dude, you're a pretty popular meme account. And like, I'm kind of friends with some other popular ones. Like they're pretty chill. I mean, they've posted me several times. And I was really tempted mm-hmm. to hit them up and like try to get this guy in trouble. But I was like, it's just not even worth it. Yeah. But it's just funny. Um, with the negative sides of this stuff, um, I know I get a lot of like hate comments and stuff. Like, do you experience that pretty often too? I'm actually surprised about like, about like my account like i never really experienced any hate like i probably had like one or two and i just like brushed it off yeah but i always see like other people's accounts and like people just like spewing hate i'm just like why are people doing that like <laughs> people like people read that and it's just like messed up yeah i've never understood hate counts i don't think i've ever left a hate comment because i remember i don't know if you follow like follow gary v on anything and i'm probably i talk about him all the time and i'm trying to get him on the podcast and uh he actually envies people that send hate comments because he feels bad for them because they there's something wrong with that person to feel they have to spread some sort of hate to make themselves feel better. I think that's a great way to look mm-hmm. at it. He always like uh, tries to help that person. I'm like that's a great way to look at it. But it's just like hate comments are just weird. I've never understood the point of them because you know, like it's not gonna do anything besides like kind of hurt the person. And it's like me, I get a lot of them because yeah. my jokes. Like I had this one person. It was an orphan joke and. I guess the guy was an orphan and he like commented that he goes, I love your jokes, but orphan jokes are like cross the line. And he goes, we yeah, it's funny how you have no racist jokes. I'm like, wait, why are you trying to promote me to do racist <laughs> jokes and stuff? I'm like, dude, you're not making sense. And there's so much, I don't really answer people at all. It's, I only answer really nice comments. Mm-hmm. I wanted to fry the guy because the dude was standing naked in a field and you could just see his whole backside. <laughs> I was like, bro, what are you doing? But I was like, I'm just going to leave it. But yeah, he commented. It's definitely crazy. Hard not to like try like to try to not reply to those like negative comments. I just try to like reply to the positive ones. Yeah, no, yeah. We're trying not to like add fuel to the fire is hard because it's like I mm-hmm. I, I like I'm not, like I'm not like a I don't know how to explain it. I like making people mad. I guess it's it's not in a bad way. It's just fun when they're getting mad and to make them worse. And it's just funny yeah. to me because they just look dumb. But it's just, like on social media and having to take a fall. I'm like it's just not smart. Cause I did it kind of mm-hmm. once. Cause this one kid was like, I don't know why it annoyed me, but he was like, if you want to keep up your following and views, you need to start posting better content. And I do like 300 and something followers. I was like, yeah, okay. 314 followers or whatever <laughs> it was. And then like everyone started coming after me and I was like, yeah, that wasn't a good mm-hmm. idea. So I deleted the comment and the guy DM me goes, Oh, you're so scared. You deleted, deleted your comment and stuff like that. And I just didn't answer. I deleted the DM. I was like, yeah, I'm not answering stuff like that again. Yeah. <laughs> it took one time and learned, learned my uh, <laughs> lesson. Uh-huh. Cause that's the thing like they just try to they try to egg you on and then when you actually reply they want to make you seem like the bad guy 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, but so I, a lot of times so I realize when I don't respond, my like loyal fans or whatever you want to call them will attack them. And I think it's mm-hmm. really funny sometimes because like some people would say something rude and they'll be like, oh, get out of here. You're not even popular. Like, oh, you're just jealous. And this is like the greatest feeling ever. Have you ever had, had, ever had that happen? Yeah, that's the best. Is like when you just scroll through your comments and you see like your followers backing you up. It's, just <laughs> it's the best. Uh, so with school and TikTok, I never was, I think I reached like 200,000 while I was in school. And then that's when we're, when we're about to leave. That's when one of my videos kind of really blew up and I took off. You were always mm-hmm. a lot. You had like, I think 400 and something thousand while I were in school too, right? Yeah. How did like, did anyone start treating you different? I mean, no, not really. It was just like mainly people. I know it's like more people would talk to me, and it was like people would like talk on my TikTok more, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. There's like keep talking about it, and I was like, yeah. And I kind of got used to it. It's just like it, sometimes it got like overplayed, but I just like I couldn't yeah. really do anything about it. I realized, uh, like I was only I think two hundred to three hundred, and I remember. I ended up getting like a lot more friends. Like I was friends with people, but people would end up like again mm-hmm. like talking to me more. And I was like, hmm, you guys never really talked to me in the last like six, seven yeah. months. I've actually had people be like, yo, let's make a TikTok. And I'm like, I haven't talked to you in like mm-hmm. this year. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one. Cause usually because before we left last summer, I didn't really that's like when I first started. So I didn't have that much. So I came back to school this year. Like everybody was like, Yo, make a TikTok. <laughs> Like, I, I didn't want to be mean. Like, I didn't yeah. know how to say no. I was like, uh. Yeah, you don't want to be mean, but at the same time, they're not genuine. They, like, like uh, they just want to do it to get clout, basically. And it's really yeah. annoying. I'm like, dude, I built this myself. Go build it yourself. Like, find mm-hmm. something that works and do it. But uh, I just, I remember, I remember a couple of people. Yeah, I didn't talk to them for a while. And they're like, dude, let's get in. Let's make a TikTok. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Also, I remember I'm, I'm a little jealous of you because you, like you said, you came back to school with a little bit of like, like a lot, a decent amount of followers. Uh, I got mine, and now we don't have school. <laughs> and like, I just want to go for, I want to go to school a couple days and just be like, yeah, I got a decent amount of followers. Just a couple days, I feel how it feels. But after that, I don't really yeah. care. But it's just like a little jealous about that. <laughs> how do uh, yeah. teachers react to this? Oh wait, what were you saying? I was going to say, like, but you're definitely going to college. Like, people want to be, like, amazed. Yeah, like, I think that's cool. And I'm definitely not, well, I'm definitely going to grow on YouTube and stuff, and I'm hoping. And that's what I want to get popular on. <laughs> but I uh, I remember I got in trouble for one of my jokes. It was a joke towards Jewish people, but it wasn't anti-Semitic. But I, I got the National Jewish Society called on me. They oh, called wow. our school and, like, got mad. And Mr. – like, our – um. I don't want to say his name, actually. Our <laughs> principal, he uh, he just was talking to him, and he like, yeah, I guess he was disappointed in me, but he also wasn't super mad because he understands I preference it as dark slash dirty humor, so it's not like I'm blindsiding people, and it wasn't yeah. anti-Semitic, but he just called my dad and like talked to him, and he's like, can you just take it down? And I was like, yeah, I'll take it down. And I think the videos was set like 3 million views, and I had to go on a call with our guidance counselor, and uh she was like well if you ever want to be like a politician or something that's gonna ruin that i'm like yeah i'm never gonna be a politician <laughs> <laughs> she was well maybe i'm like no so i mean the social media is a little scary with that like uh, aspect of it like it, I, I guess some of the stuff i do can ruin future things if i ever want to do anything but i'm like i kind of want to act like acting sounds a lot of fun i'm like i kind of want to act and i was like well maybe my jokes ruined it i'm like also my jokes i haven't done any jokes pertaining to a group of people since then so I'm like, mm. I think I'll be right. Cause Kevin Hart had that whole uh, uh, homophobic <laughs> thing, homophobic things. So I was like, you know, I'll be right. But he's also Kevin Hart. So I just realized my TV's on back here. <laughs> uh, how do teachers react to all this? Cause we have pretty young teachers. They all understand a lot of this stuff. Oh, they're all really funny. They always like joke about it. And it's just, you just have a good time about it. Some, some of them watch, I remember Mr. Fiend, like, He's, he put it, like, one day last year, he put it on the whiteboard, like, on the, <laughs> the whiteboard on the class. It was just so funny. Dude, I, that's what I like about our school. Our school has, like, super young teachers. If anyone knows, our school's mm-hmm. only four years old. It was built in, like, built it in, like, a year from, like, maybe 2015 to 2016, which was insanely quick. Might be why some of the walls are cracking. But have you ever noticed <laughs> that on some of the hallways? There's a yeah. big crack from the ceiling to the floor. I'm like, that can't be good. 
<laughs> but, they, they built that school really fast. Oh yeah, it was crazy. But like, uh, with it being the new school, we got a bunch of young teachers. We have some teachers at 22, 23, right out of college. And they're like, it's awesome because they're like, they're just like friends. I don't know if you have the mm. teacher, Miss John. No, I don't. Uh, I don't she's have a, uh, she, oh yeah, because she's a biology teacher and a marine environmental teacher. So you'll get that next year. Um, she's like, I think she's like 23, 24. And she's the nicest human being ever. And she's so much fun. I have, so, I have, have you ever seen the thing, the challenge where people did the baby, baby arm thing? It's really like you yeah, put your yeah. arms back here. I have like three videos of me and her doing that. <laughs> then I have a video of her like um like just kind of she wasn't asleep, but she wasn't feeling good. And we have a teacher aide, so like the teacher aide was just taking over, and she was like almost clocked out in the middle of class, just like head back, mouth open. But she wasn't asleep. But I have a video of it. It's the funniest video of her. Uh, you did you do powder puff? No, I didn't do. I'm gonna do it next year, though. Definitely. You yes, definitely do it. I'm jealous. <laughs> um, all the juniors get two of them. I see. I'm really jealous. A lot of junior stuff. You guys get a little bit more, but we're mm. the first graduating class. Kind of, you might be the first graduating class. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Oh, I thought I really. I thought you were in powder puff. I was gonna talk a lot about that. That was a lot of fun. Were you there? No, nah, I wasn't oh. there. It looked a lot of fun because I was. I was gonna go and do the cheerleading. But then that had swim got in the way, so I couldn't really go to the practices. Oh, uh, yeah. I I don't know. You know, I only do jiu-jitsu, so, like, at the time, I had plenty of time to do everything. That, that's, it was a lot of time, though. I really want to do another powder puff thing again because it's, like, apparently, I didn't realize it, but I, the, did you go to Mr. CC Tech, too? No, I missed that one, <laughs> Did you go to anything? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I missed a lot. Oh, uh, man, you would have saw me dance in a skirt. <laughs> and a tank top. I saw videos of it. Looking great. <laughs> me, Chuck, and Eddie. That was a fun night. But uh, what are? Because you're going to be a senior in two months. That's kind of crazy. I I, mean, I know I how I felt. I can't believe it. Yeah. And I'm about to graduate in two months. Like I think that's so crazy. <laughs> but uh, what are some plans after high school? So I definitely want to go to college, and I'm thinking about going into chemical engineering field because I'm in engineering right now. And my my strongest like subjects are always math and science, so I want to like still do that when I'm older. That's, so how about you? Me? Oh, whew. so I'm gonna go to community college for a year to get my associates in business entrepreneurship. But like for my social media stuff, I'm super into fitness. I I want to move to Florida and start my own gym and do like personal training and stuff. I'm like, but I don't know how to fund all that. So that's how I'm trying to figure it out. But with my everything with social media now, I'm really trying to grind YouTube. Like I really want to start soon and kind of make it a career, but I do want to make fitness a career too. So I want to find a way to uh, combine the two, but it's so hard to just start on YouTube with fitness because I mean, I'm not really known for fitness at all. And I really wanted my TikTok to be known for t fitness, but it's all jokes. So anyone that comes over my YouTube, I made a compilation of my uh, TikTok videos and it got, I think it's at 70,000 views now on YouTube, which is insane. But it's like none of my other videos really have views because I, they don't want that. They want the jokes. And, but it's like, I can't make a five minute video of jokes all the time. I can only make like two more compilations. Of my yeah. Day. So it's just kind of hard. But so after high school, it's, kind of blurred i kind of have a path like i'm just going to go to college to get a degree and if i really don't have anything i'm gonna just continue and get more like degrees in business so a bachelor's so that's kind of my plan i'm not too sure but yeah <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to th i don't know like i haven't really talked to you before so like what else is there to like know about you and like anyone to know about you i'm trying to think so, like, I got to talk about like, what I do during, like, quarantine right now. So, usually, I, like, I wake up, you do my, some of my schoolwork. I work out to, like, keep in shape of swim because I can't really swim right now because you can't, because the pool's closed. So, I got to find a way because, yeah, it really, I haven't swim in, like, almost a month. It's going to be really bad when I go back. But, like, another thing I do, I also, like, play video games. I play on Xbox. Yo, what do you play? play warzone I, I, yeah i usually play i'm playing i'm playing warzone right now most yeah, of the time. i was playing that a lot i was just i was streaming that a lot but i got valorant have you heard about valorant on the pc 
It's like, I've heard about it. I haven't seen it though. Yeah, I got a key for that. So I've been playing that a lot. But then I don't know. I've been I've been trying to fix my sleep schedule and get up. I've been I've like recently it's been getting better. I mean, wait, like making myself get up at seven seven thirty. But before I was sleep like going to sleep at like four or five in the morning and then waking up at like yeah. one in the afternoon. I'm like, yo, my day's gone. And then I was planning stuff for podcast and just like I've been booking a lot. Like I've like up to next Tuesday booked with a podcast right. which is really good That's like good. just starting it but it's been crazy busy so to take up a lot of my time like uh what else do you do in your free time besides like um out of quarantine usually i don't really do much like outside like i'm really just like much like i'm like a home person to be honest like i usually just like chill at home relax for like here and then i hang out with my friends that like really surprised me i really expected you to be like out doing stuff all the time like not like exactly no, like a party not. type but like you seem like su- i don't know is it extrovert is that what it's called i don't know what it's called but you seem like super outgoing and stuff and that's uh that kind of surprised me actually yeah yeah i'm like definitely outgoing like i'll talk to anyone like i'm cool with like mostly anyone but like i really don't i don't like really do much but like uh-huh. i don't really i don't really like mind it though no. like i would still go out and stuff and all that too be just like chilling at home doing your own thing no, I get that because, like, I know there's times where I'd be out, like, doing stuff, like, like day after day and I'd be like, yo, I just kind of, like, got to chill. And mm-hmm. But, like, after this quarantine, I want to get out and do some stuff. I, yeah, the same. longest I haven't left my house was, I think, 10 days. And then, but, like, the only thing I did was go to the uh, Chick-fil-A drive through and get food and come home. So, it's not like I did anything. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I haven't, uh, this quarantine sucks. I don't know how everyone else is holding up, but, like, it's kind of good for me with social media stuff but i want to get out and do stuff i Same. hate this thing but i also i want to get my license i have to wait till august to get that well hopefully if it's open then i was gonna ask easy. you that is your birthday i think it was august 12th yeah is that right okay so that's right on your famous birthdays right <laughs> uh-huh. my famous birthdays it says july like 19th and i'm august 23rd <laughs> did, they <laughs> ask you, did they email you no never really? sent me anything they're like all the information on my thing is wrong they're like yeah he competed in several weightlifting competitions uh won them all and i'm like i've never gone to one <laughs> and the only thing they got right was i enjoy hunting and i'm like i've never posted a hunting video so i'm really confused on how That's they creepy. got that and everything else is wrong i'm gonna bring it up right now it's so funny everything they got up was it jury kiker famous birthdays um oh they changed it a little bit it's uh first appeared in the beginning of 2019 i didn't do a tiktok to the end of 2019 <laughs> several weightlifting competition bodybuilding competition has no has competed and won several weightlifting and bodybuilding competitions uh family life has starred in uh has starred in a january 2020 tiktok video alongside his mother but every video is with my dad and my mom and then the only video it says like associated with is my one workout video that didn't get any views and it just talks about the uh song the rocky theme song i'm like i don't understand famous birthdays at all <laughs> yeah, it's it doesn't make sense at all it's really confusing i was uh i was going through like the violent ones because like my like area is on there and i'm off on violent so i wouldn't say it anyway but like when i clicked on yours it says like you're number four or something in violent and mm-hmm. there's a couple pretty famous people in Vineland. Yeah, there's like a model. Yeah, I, know. I looked her up. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, are, I didn't even know about her until I searched her up. I was like, oh, well. Yeah, like but I think she like, she doesn't even live in Vineland anymore. I think she lives in like Florida now, like Miami. Yeah, she definitely lives somewhere else. And her Instagram is like 520,000. It's crazy. Mm. But no, I didn't know she lived like, She's pretty beautiful, but I I looked up on Instagram and her Instagram was like hard to find, but there's this, also there's an actor, but I, it says she passed away, but there's an actor in here that started in different movies and then a soccer player and then a famous fisherman, which is kind of cool to me. Cause like that's, I fish and stuff a lot, which was crazy. I was like, I didn't know there's that many famous people in the violin. Yeah. See, when I first started, I was like, oh, well, this is really cool. Yeah. And when I got put on mine, it like, cause when you got put in yours and you're at, I think, close to around 200,000 when you got put in your on yours right I was approaching that and I was like oh when am I gonna get on mine and like every day I was checking it I'm like darn it darn it one day I was like I I, I guess it really doesn't mean all that much because I think it's just like 
it's I don't know like it, well, apparently our information is wrong or at least on mine I don't know about mm-hmm. anyone else's but it's just kind of cool when I tell people at school they're like dude it's just family birthday I'm like but I yeah. want it <laughs> yeah because like when I was younger I was like I used to look on there and like see people and like to actually be on there now is just yeah. like a great feeling and you'll be on there forever it's crazy how um how do friends like uh, when you talk about something you're excited about, say a video like super big, or you're talking to someone that else is like super big on TikTok. Cause like, I remember I had like, when someone posted me on Instagram, my Instagram started blowing up. I texted in their group chat. Like I was like, I didn't know they posted me. And I was like, Hey, can like post on Instagram, like go viral and stuff. Cause like my Instagram starting to blow up. I gained like a thousand followers in like 20 minutes. And they're like, dude, we get it. You're famous. Stop bragging about it. And I got like, pretty mean to me for a second i don't know if they did it as a joke or not but like to me i got a little annoyed i was like i was just super excited about that so i really don't text in that group chat anymore about stuff like that i feel bad because they probably are gonna watch this but (laughs) whatever i i don't really text in a group chat like do you have you ever had like experiences like that where you're like just talking about something you're excited about and like people kind of like shut you down a little bit yeah definitely that's why i like i don't really talk about it much because then like some people like some people are actually interested but, like, there's always those type of people that are just, like, oh, stop bragging. I'm just, like, I'm not. Like, I'm just trying to, like, talk about it because it's, like, I'm talking about it to you because, like, I don't, like, have anyone else to talk about it to. So yeah. I'm just, like, I'm not trying to, like, brag or anything. Yeah, I don't know how your parents are with it because my parents are older. They're both 15, like, 52 or 53. And they don't understand social media stuff like that at all. And especially because I, I make a little bit of money off this here and there. It's nothing how I think it should be, but – they don't mm-hmm. understand it all and they thought it was crazy when i started making money but they don't understand the following because like i'd be super excited to them and they're like oh that's, that's cool a million two million yeah and i'm like that's it <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy that's almost uh, that's over a fourth of new jersey yeah but my my parents have been really supportive like i remember when i first told them about it like my like my dad and mom and like they didn't know what tiktok was they were yeah. like what is that i had to like tell them about it and all that but they've definitely been like supportive and then, like, they they, pro- they definitely watch my videos all the time. It's just, like, really fun that they're, like, supportive and always watching stuff. Yeah, my parents are super supportive. My dad actually made his own TikTok. Really? Yeah, and it's uh, Drake's dad. It's, it's, it's called, yeah, Drake's dot dad or something like that. And he does, like, dad jokes with me. And he commented on one video of mine just to do his fun. And it stayed at top comment. And he gained, like, 1,800 followers. Wow. I was like, holy crap. He goes, dude, look at this. I'm getting followed. And he's so excited about it. It's, it's the coolest thing. I was like, how did he do that from getting, like, like, but commenting one thing? Because I've shot it, like, uh, do you know my friend Moose or Brent? Yeah, uh, he mm-hmm. did. Like, because I'm really good friends with him. So I always try to get him to grow. And, like, I've shouted him out, like, several times. And no one, like, TikTok shout outs aren't worth a thing. Yeah, and, that's the thing that sucks. Like, TikTok, like, trying to shout out people on TikTok, it just never works out. So. Yeah, like, I remember P would be like, yo, I'll pay you to do this. And, like, I did it, like, once or twice, and I realized it doesn't help people. And they're like, and then other mm-hmm. people come like, hey, I'll pay you. I was like, dude, it's not worth it. I'm not going to take your money for something that's not going to be worth it. And a lot of, like, a lot of my friends were like, oh, that's dumb. I'm like, but I'm not, like, I'm not going to do, take 40 bucks from someone, and they're, they're not going to get anything from it, maybe 10 followers. Yeah. So, like, I felt bad, and I couldn't refund them because, well, my PayPal was messed up, so I couldn't refund anyone. I lost a bunch of money from filming that, but mm-hmm. – I don't know, but school with TikTok has been crazy. Like, I don't know. I just wish we can go back to school. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just miss like just being there and just like being with people, talking to people. Because now I can't really talk to like much people. Like, only time I talk to them really is just like through a screen. Yeah, like over a call. Like, uh, I remember how much everyone posts. I hate school. I hate school. I hate school. And they're all like, I want to go back. I want to go back. And I'm like, I just think like, it's so funny because me personally, like I only want to really go back for graduation. I already lost senior trip. So I don't care about going back at all anymore. I just want to go back for senior trip, not senior, um, graduation. And they're at, that's actually up in the air for having it or not. And if they reschedule it later in the uh, summer, and I'm like really mad about that because that's one thing that every senior gets. And it's yeah. like, I want that. And yeah. I don't think I'm going to get it. But, I, I feel really bad for the seniors and like you guys just like work so hard all this time and like you guys keep even you might not even get like a graduation and stuff you guys missed all like senior prom graduate like um the senior trip too yeah i'm I, the prom i'm not too worried about because we had a super nice prom last year it was just only us and we had a really nice venue but the senior trip i'm a little bummed about i remember uh someone posted something 
on social media how they're going to run out of venue for the seniors to have their prom if everything if we don't end up having a prom and a bunch of juniors got really mad about that they were like imagine having your own prom last year then creating your own prom this year i was like why are you guys so mad you're going to get your prom next year anyway yeah i'm fine yeah yeah like it doesn't affect you guys and like i don't know they're really annoyed by it i can't remember it was a bunch of like people that are just like shit shit starters anyway but it was just funny i was like how are you so annoyed by just like trying to create our own prom (laughs) and plus like even having like both classes like that's a ton of people Mm -hmm. yeah they were uh they're like oh yeah also they also were like yeah imagine like uh disregarding health problems and stuff they're like they thought we're gonna have it now i'm like what venue is open (laughs) now anyway what it didn't make sense at all people just aren't the brightest it's funny but that like i miss school a lot for just friends and stuff but because like chuck my friend chuck nick and then there's a bunch of other people that i didn't know were going to air force but they are now but like chuck and nick i became really good friends with the last four years and they're going to air force in the summer if everything clears up so it's like we don't really get any time to see each other anymore. We just kind of like talk on Xbox now, but but that's kind of like that's my part I'm upset about is like seeing people I'm never gonna see again or most likely not seen in a while. That's what I miss. Yeah, because I was like I was thinking about that on the last day we had school before the quarantine. I was like, hmm, I wonder if this is gonna be like the last day of the school year. I was like, hmm, probably not. But I was like, oh, just <laughs> like that feeling in the back, like in the back of my head, and I was just like. Well, man, what if, like, I'll be, like, really sad because you guys wouldn't even be really, like, to say, like, goodbyes and all that. Yeah, like, I, I kind of thought the same thing. I was like, yeah, this could be the last day. I'm like, nah, we'll definitely come back. And I was like, we're definitely, they're already exaggerating. They're only taking safety measures. We're coming back. And I'm, now I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, we're not coming back. Well, yeah. it's been declining a lot. I mean, like, the last week mm-hmm. has been a pretty good week. And they said if it keeps going down, they're opening businesses. I know a lot of businesses are reopening anyway. So, they like, they said May 15th, they'll let us go back to school if everything keeps going good so we could but at that point we're not going to do anything in school i took all the dumbest classes i could i don't know how you are with school i hate school so i took the easiest classes if you take easy classes take marine marine environmental modern math i actually sleep in that class almost every class (laughs) and could we watch movies half the time or do something super simple that doesn't take like any effort can we cut the last 15 minutes of class and just do it there's a couple classes you actually have to work but very few but modern math and marine environmental are the easiest classes. <laughs> uh, you said you wanted to be was a chemical engineer, right? Yeah. What? How much school does that take? Because that seems super like you need to be smart for that. And like I'll, I'll never be able to do something <laughs> like that. So like it's just interesting talking to people that do like want to do that. I think it's four years, just like in college. I don't think it's anything more than that. Like, thankfully, because I I really don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I don't want to be in school for, like, eight yeah. years. Well, uh, what kind of jobs tie into that? Like, what can you do with chemical engineering? I know chemical engineering, it, like, ties into, like, food. Like, people, people like, like, make flavors for food and all that. Oh, that'd be cool. And then, like, I can't really, I know there's other ones. I can't really think of them right now. That's, like, the main one I can think about right now. But mainly just, like, anything, really, that deals with, like, chemicals and just changing it and how it can innovate something that's really cool i didn't i never thought about chemical engineering with food but yeah that's definitely a huge part with it because i mean yeah. half our food is like super like has a bunch of preservatives <laughs> preservatives yeah. in it, and like a bunch of chemicals that probably shouldn't be in it but yeah i never like that's kind of cool i didn't think about how much like that job would pertain to that that's interesting yeah i'm just yeah, gonna be an entrepreneur or a fancy word for unemployed you know like whatever you want to call it <laughs> but yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about with this. <laughs> to be honest, if any, if you have any questions, let me know. Mm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, but I just want to say, like, you can be your TikTok is like blowing up like crazy, and like keep it up. So <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. It's been growing a decent amount. I think a hundred thousand every four or five days, which mm. is pretty good. But I mean, it's slowing down. It's been up at random times. Like yesterday, I posted a bunch of TikToks, and I don't think any reached over. 150,000 which is weird but maybe today it'll bounce back I don't know it all well I had one week where I posted a couple in a row and they all blasted over to like um, two to three million and it was great but then like on the week after it's just like yeah no you're not going to get any views I think I get shadow banned a lot because that's you for my yeah, content TikTok, yeah that's a they just always like one week you're doing like like your like people's videos do great and then like a week later like my videos are like going down it's just 
it's just always like a like a roll of yeah. Things, basically. Yeah, because I, I went on yours. You had one the other day that had like two hundred fifty thousand, which is really good. And then your next ones were a little over ten thousand. So it's just weird yeah. how that works. And I post some stuff. Like, I feel like that would get pretty trendy, and it's mm-hmm. like go like go pretty viral. And I'm like, uh, like I posted the Mr. CC Tech thing. I don't know if you saw it, but me dancing in the skirt on sk- stage. And I'm like, how? Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. I feel like that would go really big because I know if I watch, I think it'd be funny. But yeah. I just feel like most of the time I say, like, I always try to find the right time to post because I always feel like I post something and then, like, it's not the right time. I'm like, oh, man. But yeah, yeah. I look at a lot of my analytics for that. Like, so my, my like, peak time is usually around like six to eight o'clock. So I'll try to post around six or seven. And that worked. I, I thought I was, I had some, I was going to something for a while because, like, my views would be constant for like almost a month straight. Like, it was good. Mm-hmm. And then one day it just shut off and then I can't figure it out now. So like, like you said earlier in the podcast, you think they changed the algorithm, which that's an interesting theory. Cause I never thought of that. And they might, because I'll do something that works for a little bit and then it'll just stop working. Yeah. That's like, like sometimes you get like something and you're like, all right, I'm gonna just keep doing this. And they flip it around. You're like, Oh, now you got to find another way. Then once you find that way, they switch it up again. Cause like I'm in group chats with like other TikTokers and like mm-hmm. they're having like the same issues too. Like recent, like this past month has been like really bad for like most TikTokers. Yeah, I uh I had this problem sometimes where I'll post a video, it'll get zero views for like five minutes, and usually yeah. I I've had a couple times where I've had like four thousand views within two minutes, and mm-hmm. then recently I've been getting for a minute straight basically zero views, which it's never been like that before. So I'm super confused on why I'll have up to five minutes of no views. And like, I've had videos under review in the beginning and that makes sense why it gets no views. But then like, I, I don't know. I just don't understand why they don't get views sometimes for a certain amount of time. Yeah, ever, definitely. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I've, I'm i going to group chat with a bunch of people too. And they said they had the same problem with that. And they were like, yeah, maybe it's just something on TikTok's end. But like, I don't, I think it is TikTok's end, but not like a server-based type of thing. It's just, they're messing it up for creators, which is weird. I don't know if they're trying to give people even amount of time, like not, uh, mm. wait, they're trying to give like anyone the chance to get popular, but then it messes up popular creators because then it's like, well, you're yeah. trying to give everyone a chance, but then you take away the chance from the popular creators, which I don't know. It's just super annoying. I don't know if you've had those problems too. And like another thing I was thinking about was like during like quarantine, I'm noticing like, all these celebrities coming in. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder if, like, TikTok's trying to, like, give them more of the, like, to the celebrities and, like, they're trying to, like, take it away from, like, the create, like, the actual creators and stuff to make them get a big platform and, like, make them stay on it. Yeah, they verify anyone who's previous famous or pretty well-known on anything prior, and it's super annoying. There's this dude, I'm going to have him on my podcast. His name's Ryan. Super funny comedian, like, and he's a super cool dude. And, like, I'm not mad at him or anything, but, like, he had a TV show. I think I'm pretty sure he said he had a TV show before and he goes, yeah, that's me. and he only has 250,000 followers and he's verified. I'm like, only 200, like 200, 250,000 followers is a lot, but like he's verified. And I'm at 2.6, I had 2.6 like this morning and I like, I'm not verified. And like, there's so many other people that are more popular than me, like Iron Sanctuary. I don't think he's verified. And I don't know if you know of him, but he is 3.7. Yeah. And I don't understand the verification like process and all that. Like sometimes, like I, like you said, like I've seen people with like fifty thousand, and they'll be verified in like just millions and millions. And like they make videos of like, yeah, you TikTok verifying me or like something like that, like it's a little joke. Like they still wouldn't get verified. Yeah, it's it's so I don't, and there's no way to apply. I'm pretty sure on Twitter you can apply. I know on Instagram you can apply, and like on anything else to get partnered or anything like Twitch or YouTube, you apply. But TikTok doesn't have that. So it's super weird on how they pick people. And it's like, I don't know if they like, if they like content, they'll pick them. Or if they're previous famous, that they'll pick them. Because like my content, I guess they may not like it then. Because like, I understand that. It is some probably pretty bad jokes. But I mean, I have a decent amount more following than some people that are verified. Mm-hmm. And it's a little annoying. And it's not like I stop posting. I still post regular. I post at least one or t- once or twice a day. And it's the same thing on Instagram. I've applied on Instagram several times and they haven't given it to me, but I've seen people with 5,000 followers get it too. So I don't understand how that works either. Yeah, It's kind of crazy, but 
Wow, we've been on this for like 45 minutes. I'm an hour now. So, oh, wow. yeah, I think I want to wrap this up here. Like, that's a lot of fun talking to you. I want to do more podcasts. I want to get a podcast out of a bunch of because you said you're in a TikTok group chat. Uh, mm-hmm. You should like message them, them about this and we all can get in this to have like a pretty big group call. Definitely. I'll do it. That'd be fun. I want to talk to, I want to get like big uh, groups of people and do podcasts. I definitely want to do in-person ones eventually when this is all over, but mm-hmm. no, it was a lot of fun talking to you. It's my first time talking to you, which is kind of crazy. We've been going to school together for a while <laughs> and yeah. So that was episode three guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah. Later. Oh, I can't find it and record. <laughs>